In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating an ebook, designing a book cover for your ebook, and start selling it on a digital selling platform. So, take a look at what I created. We've got an ebook created here, and you can see a table of contents, introduction, body of your ebook. And then, after that, what you'll also learn is how to turn your cover page into a 3D, realistic, professional looking book cover like the one you're looking at right now. And the best part is you don't need any web hosting, domain name, plugins. All these tools are for free and I'll show you how to do it step-by-step step in this tutorial, so tune in. First things first, you are going to need a Canva account which is free to sign up for and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it using a Canva free account, not a pro account, so that it's universal or more relatable perhaps to you if you only have a Canva free account. Here I am on my Canva homepage. What I'm going to do is create a design from here. What I'm going to search up for is either A4 document or letter size. So we can either search letter or A4. So in the US, you guys use US letter document. And for us here in Australia, we use A4. So both are similar in size and that's the kind of dimensions you want to use. I'll just choose A4 document. And from here, we can start designing and creating our ebook. The first thing you're going to wanna to do is design your book cover. And for that, you can either start by using one of the templates right here. We search for ebook. This will give you all the results for anything related to ebook. Let's say you like this particular cover. This is a pro uh, template you can tell by hovering over and it shows that crown icon and shows pro, but you can find free uh, templates anyway. So for instance, we've got this one here called snacks and this also gives you, if you hover over it, all the page previews of what this ebook looks like, or well, the more so the template. Now, the great thing about Canva templates is that you can mix and match the different styles and layouts that you see of different templates, or you can stick with one to keep it more consistent. To insert a template, all you need to do is just click once, and then that'll show a preview and the thumbnails of all the uh, layouts of this particular template. Then you simply apply all pages. That'll insert it to the template, as you can see. Here's the table of contents. We've got chapter one, and then the rest of the pages. So this particular template does make more sense for recipe type of eBooks. What you're going to wanna do is actually change the photo or elements or objects that are on the template. You don't wanna use the ones that come with the stock template. So for this, I can click on the background. I'll delete it so that I can insert my own photo. There are a couple of options here to insert photos. You can either go to photos, search up the photo that you want. So let's say your ebook is about uh, mindfulness or something around self-improvement. I'll choose mindfulness. And then from here, we can choose one of the images. You'll see some pro images as well as free images, which are clearly indicated. The pro options will give you a basically a, a license to use the image for sometimes commercial use, but do your own due diligence to make sure that you can actually use the images for commercial purposes. In this case, you do wanna sell your ebook, so that's something you need to be mindful of. The free images, in this case, they come from Pixabay, which Canva now owns as well. And the license agreement with that is that you can actually use it for commercial purposes without attribution, without crediting the photographer. However, again, little fine print here is that you need to make sure where the source of the photo came from, whether it's legitimately from that photographer or it could be someone that uh, basically found it somewhere else and then they basically put it into their account. So that's something you need to look into yourself. To insert an image, let's say this one here, I'll click that once, that'll then insert it to your title page. Um, what I can do now is just drag until it is a size that covers the entire book cover like that, and then choose or crop more so the area that I want. So let's say here, from here I can change the title. So I'm gonna show something like mindfulness or resilience. And I did do a sample demo um, ebook previously or before this tutorial, and I'll show you what mine looks like later on. So I'll just resize it to something like that. The other way and the better way is to actually click once on that layer and then just drag where you want it or how the size that you want. I'll just drag it right here to the position that I want and then I'll delete this area. For this one, I'll just use it as a subheading, something like uh, how to get back up 
um, from failures or something like that. All right, so that's the cover page right there. To show you an example of what I did previously, here's resilience and we've got the subtitle, then the actual photo. And that's just something I found through photos here, search for mountain. And to see the rest, just to give you a sneak peek, we've got a table of contents, also the body of the actual ebook. So you can see what it looks like. These are kind of the foundational pages that you want to create. In order to create a table of contents, all you need to do is either use one of the ones that's already provided by the template, like this one here, or you can go back to template and then we are going to search for table of contents. That will bring up all the templates related to table of contents. Simply insert it and then modify it as you wish. The little side note here is that don't change the uh, page numbers just yet. Uh, we don't have page numbers for this particular template, but because you are going to write your ebook, you don't know where those pages are gonna sit or where those chapters are going to sit. So write your pages first, and then after that, you can fix up your table of contents and the page numbers. Now with the table of contents inserted there, the next thing is to either add a chapter image like this one here, follow the same steps as you uh, as we went through with adding an image uh, for the cover page, and then adding or modifying the chapter title and the number. To change the font style, all we need to do is just select it. And then from here, we can choose one of the styles uh, right here. So it's completely up to you whether you wanna use one of the other fonts. This template is for recipes. So if you do wanna add just normal pages with normal body text, all you need to do is just, uh, let's add a page. And then from here, we can search for ebook again, use one of the templates so we can leverage off of that. And then going through some of the other templates to see what layout we want. We, you might want a simple layout with just text. And for that, you can just start one from scratch or we can just use one of the ones right here. So for instance, let's say you like one of these templates right here. And then this is the one of the body pages that it's provided. I'll click that once, that'll insert it. And from here, we've got a template or more so a layout that we can use. This would be a chapter title and then this would be like a page number or more so the chapter number. At the bottom, you can see the page numbers that you can modify. And of course the body of the uh, page right here. So start typing whatever it is you wanna write about for your ebook. What I recommend you start with is an intro, then the chapters of your ebook, then a conclusion. So a start or more so a beginning, a middle and an end. Going back to my example here, we've got an introduction. And then we've got the actual body or more so the content of the ebook. So what is resilience? And at the end, I would put a conclusion. Again, I wanna mention that I do have more comprehensive tutorials on creating your ebook step-by-step. -step. So if I'm going a little too fast, uh, do check out those videos, which I'll link up in the description below. But let's say you're done with your ebook, you're happy with it all. What we're going to do now is design the book cover. We've actually designed the book cover already, but what we're going to do next is to turn it into a 3D looking, more so like a realistic looking book cover. To do that, we're going to use a tool called Smart Mockups. This integrates perfectly with Canva. What you can see is a realistic looking, you know, book cover, all these examples. So that's what we're going to do. Smart Mockups is free to sign up, but there is an upgrade version and you can see the indication, indicated premium logo or lock icon. That indicates that it's for Smart Mockups upgraded members only. But let's go back to our ebook. And again, I'm going to use this demo ebook rather than the one that we created uh, from the beginning. So from here, what we're going to do is click on the three dotted icon at the top right corner. And from here, we're going to search for Smart Mockups. That'll bring up Smart Mockups there. Click that once and then select the pages that you want basically uh, exported out to Smart Mockups. Since we only want the book cover, that is what we want. So page one and then click save. That's going to prepare the design. The next step is to view the design in Smart Mockups. So I'll click that once. By default, it'll insert it to these t-shirt mockups or perhaps something else. But what we're going to do is look for book covers. So either look through here or we can go directly to uh, books. 
under print. We can see a preview of all of them, but I'm going to choose browse all. Now, if you don't see this, that means you're not logged into your Smart Mockups account. And more importantly, Canva will ask you to log into your Smart Mockups account so that you can actually uh, integrate it together. But here's how it looks like. Real nice professional book covers to choose from. If you do like one of the ones that uh, you where you require a Smart Mockups upgrade account, feel free to upgrade. But what I'm going to do is just choose one of the ones that are freely available for me to use, the ones without the padlock icon. I like this one here, the portrait thick hardcover book. Click that once, and this is what it looks like. You can change the actual background as well to like, let's say a solid color to whatever color you want. I'm just going to choose a transparent background. So then that means wherever I place this book cover image, it'll take in that background of that web page. I've got a step-by-step -step tutorial on using smart mockups as well, which I'll link up in the description, or I'll link up a card right here to that specific tutorial. What I'm going to do now is download a copy of this. I'll choose medium size. Here it is in my image previewer. We're going to use this later on once we start selling this digital product. Be sure to also go back to Canva so that we can save this as a PDF uh, document, either PDF standard or PDF print if you are going to encourage your customers to print your ebook, otherwise choose PDF standard. If your viewers are just going to read this online, I'll just choose PDF print, click on download. Now it's downloaded, you can see it right here, the resilience.pdf document, I can open this up. I've saved everything into one folder. Now the next step is to get this ready for sale. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it in Gumroad. I've got a step-by-step -step tutorial on using Gumroad, so I'll link it up right here. But let's go ahead and I'm going to show you briefly how to use Gumroad. From the product section, what we're going to do is click on new product and then select classic start selling today rather than the other options. Name your product, enter the amount, I'll just choose $10 for this ebook. Click on next to customize. The next step is to add a description. This is where you can describe your product more. And obviously you wanna use a bit of sales copy here where you can add like things like headlines. I'll add my headline here. I've already copied and pasted it from my own description. The drawback of using Gumroad is that there's limited options in terms of changing the font sizes, the styles, and the headings, things like that. But on the flip side, you don't need a website, don't need a web hosting, don't need a domain name, and you can start selling right away, all self-hosted on Gumroad. What you can do in the description is to add either a video or you can add an image as well, so that you can insert right here. This is where we can go ahead and add that book cover image, or we can create a page cover right here to insert it which will be the next step. But what I'm going to do is click the image icon. So here's the book cover that we saved. I'll just insert it right there. Now it's inserted. If you find the book cover image is too large, we can actually resize this uh, if we go and use something like Canva or an image resizer online. So that's quite easy to do. But next, what I can do is add uh, more of a description of this uh, ebook. So I've got one copied and pasted there. And then next, I'll just add some bulleted benefits. I've added my bulleted benefits right there. And I can either choose to add more of a description or leave it as is. And I do recommend reading more about how to write sales copy as it'll help you convert more subscribers or more so visitors into customers. So sales copy or writing ad copy is really important. For this cover image, you can choose to create one using Canva. Uh, which I do recommend you do anyway, just to fill this section up. But keep it simple and make sure it doesn't take up that above the fold screen, which is basically the first thing that users or visitors see first. Let's create one real quick. I'm going to go back to Canva, create a design. And from here, what I'm going to just do is create a custom size of about a thousand width and 400 high. You can follow this if you want to create a new design, but it's up to you what image you want to insert. And from here, I'll just put a click on the background. Let's choose one of the background colors uh, like uh, this blue here. You know, that stands out a lot. <laughs> but uh, choosing one of this, you know, I'm just gonna copy this text here. So you can actually go back and forward from one Canva design to another, like this one here. I've got this open up in a new tab. I'll uh, copy this, copy, and then go back to this design and now paste it in. So real simple and easy to use uh, using Canva. What I'm also going to do is insert the book cover. Here's a book cover. All I'm going to do is just drag and drop it, which is nice and easy to do using Canva. 
And like I said, because we saved it in a transparent PNG format uh, in smart mockups, it takes in whatever it is in the background. So in this case, it's the blue. And I'll just put it somewhere here and rearrange this. So it's more to the left and looks like something like that. Yeah, you can make this as fancy as you want, but keep it simple because you don't want, to be, uh, want it to be too distracting. In actual fact, I could have made this uh, less high, but let's use this for this demo. I'll click on download. I'll just leave it as PNG. So I've saved my cover image, as you can see, I've called it cover. And next we're going to go back here. We're gonna choose the files. Here it is, I'll click that once, click on open, it's uploading. And as you can see, we've got the cover image at the top. So at the bottom now, we've got a call to action that we can add. We can select, I want this, buy this or pay. I'll click on buy this. Let's add a summary, which will then go on the right side. This is where I'll put in something like, here's what you'll get. So if you have extra components, especially for your online course or ebook, in this case, you can add it in. So let's say like a checklist or a resources list. You can go ahead and add the details. I'll put in um, ebook. You can add a value to this if you want, or you can choose not to. Add another detail, let's say a checklist. And let's put another one, like a mind map. So mind map of everything that is covered in the ebook. Next up, we've got content. This is where you go ahead and upload the actual ebook. I'll click on upload your files from a computer. I'll choose the PDF document right here, resilience. It's uploading, so give it some time depending how large your ebook is. Okay, now it's completed. The next step is you can actually stamp the PDF with the buyer's information. So things like uh, licensing, or perhaps you wanna protect it uh, using one extra way. The option is to either disable it or enable it. You can learn more by clicking the link right here. I'll disable it for now. Next step is pricing, which we've already inserted $10 for that. There's an option to allow customers to pay what they want. Uh, let's say here, we've got a minimum amount. Let's say we've got uh, $10 for the minimum amount. So I'll change this amount back to $1. Let's go back. Now the minimum amount that a customer can pay for this ebook is a dollar, while the suggested, you say maybe $5. So on the right, we've got the preview and we see name a fair price. We've got $1 plus, but if you don't want that option, just disable it and then add that fixed price right there. Next up, we've got versions. This is a great way to add extra versions of your ebook. Let's say you've got extra components and you can sell it for a higher price. So click on add version. We're gonna call this uh, resilience uh, standard and then call this, uh, or more so like we call the option name uh, standard or, and then give a description for that. Uploaded the associated file for that. And we can add another option. Let's say we've got uh, gold, all right? So the gold version or the standard version. And from here we can add the additional price for it, let's say, $15 extra. And then we can see from the preview area, so $10 for standard or we've got $25 for gold. In the description, of course, you can describe what extra things that they get. So let's say we've got more resources, uh, videos, um, uh, access to XYZ. So using Gumroad, you can bump up that offer and then increase your bottom line. I'm going to disable this option for now to keep things uh, straightforward. What you can also do is limit the amount of eBooks that you sell. Let's say we've got for the first 100, I'll enter 100 right there. Allow customers to choose a quantity since this is just a one-off eBook that they purchase, you don't need to enable this. I'll disable limit product sales. Once you're done, just click on save changes. Once you've saved it, we can move on to checkout and this will give us an option to add things like discount codes and a payment form. Add a receipt thank you note if you wish to do so. Next up, click on share and then it will ask you to publish it. So I'll click on publish. Now that it's published, we have all these options to then share this Gumroad sales page. At the top, you'll see your unique sales page uh, URL, gum.co forward slash whatever it is. But you can actually add a custom URL. So let's say resilience ebook. And I'll click Save Changes. After you hit Save Changes, after renaming, you can then click on Refresh because what it's going to do is copy the correct or updated URL. So I'll hit Refresh. And now I'll copy the URL. When I open that URL, this is what you'll see. In my case, this is the URL I wanna share 
And you can also look at the top, which it redirects to this particular address, but either of those work the same. Here's what the page looks like. This is what we designed and created. And just like that, we can now click on buy this, enter the email address. Uh, this is a card purchase that the customer needs to enter, but because I'm logged in as an admin, it's showing test card. If we click on pay, that'll then take us to the next step, processing, and it says your purchase was successful. We charge a card, and now we can view the content. After clicking that as a customer, we can download the PDF document that we just purchased, send to Kindle or read right away. And that's all there is to it. If we go back to Gumroad, we can edit the product by going back to products, locate the product that you just added, and that'll take you back to the editor. Now, previously I did mention that there's limited amount of formatting options, but you can actually just highlight and then we are given these basic options like bolding text, or we can use a H3 or H4 uh, tag right there. So I formatted that. And with these bullets, we can also list these using the bullet option like so. And of course, deleting these dashes that we no longer need. I'll save changes. Going back to our page, this is what it now looks like with the heading three tag and the bulleted uh, features here. And there you go, that's how to create an ebook, design a book cover for your ebook and start selling it on a digital selling platform. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so that you don't miss out on any future tutorials just like this. Again, I do want to mention if you do want more comprehensive tutorials on each of the steps that I went through in this video, I'll link it up in the description below. So go check that out. In the meantime, I'll link up a couple of related videos right here for you to watch next.